Well, in your own words, what do you think of the Senate Republican plan? Well, I tell you, you're, you're familiar with the movie Dumb and Dumber. This is the Republican horror show, mean and meaner. The House bill was bad, and this one's worse. Not only does this one absolutely wipe out the this, expansive Wait, wait, wait. I have not heard anyone, I have not even heard a Democrat say that today. You think this bill is worse than the House bill? Yes, plan? let me explain why. Because the House bill proceeds to wipe out Medicaid expansion. But this bill not only does that, but then it compresses standard Medicaid faster and harder than the House does. And that is, it will save, I'm sure, a massive amounts of money for the federal treasury, which then the bill then gives away to the insurance industry, to the drug industry, and to the richest Americans. Are you able to concede, though, because I know, I know even President Obama during the, the transition um, had, spoke privately with the president and was able to acknowledge that there were rooms for, room for some tweaks. I mean, do you think there is a missed opportunity on the table in Washington for Democrats and Republicans to have made some fixes, some things to have made Obamacare more sustainable? Would you have oh. been open to any changes or improvements to Obamacare? Oh, absolutely. For example, for an insurance company going to a new market, it has to have reinsurance. The Republicans dismantled that. And the reason you have to be reinsured is in your first year or two, you may have a disproportionate share of really sick people. And if that happens, you'll go bankrupt. So that's where reinsurance comes in. The Republicans took it away. We need to put it back. Cost sharing needs to be locked down as an absolute responsibility of the administration to do cost sharing. Because the president is not willing to commit to doing it, we have. Uh, how about Obama's? I mean, I mean, are you are you saying that Obamacare in its current form was was perfect and there was no room for improvement? Not at all. Realize the exchange was the Republican plan. I, I would prefer to see a single payer Medicare for all. So you didn't all. think Obamacare went far enough? It did not go far enough. It needed to have a public option so you had true competition. We added a public option to our workers' compensation plan in Oregon. It cut the cost in half. Rhode Island copied Oregon cut the cost in Rhode Island in half. We should have had a, a public option at least, but I also think the complexity of the healthcare system, it creates so much stress. Is it Medicaid, is it Medicare, you're on exchange, you're off exchange, it's workers, comp, so on and so forth. People always The people that need it most understand it the least. I want to ask you about the politics of this. Are you privately rooting for Mitch McConnell's bill to pass and then to be able to run against Republicans for being part of that, or are you hoping that it fails? Oh, it must not pass. In Oregon, this was 400,000 people who will lose health care just with Medicaid expansion. And in addition, the fact that that uncompensated care will increase so much means our health care clinics and our hospitals will be in big trouble. So it hurts everyone. Then you have the pregnancy tax, and you have the age tax that's inherent in this, and then you have the pre-existing conditions. And by the way, Republicans say it doesn't affect pre-existing conditions? It absolutely does, and I'd be happy to explain that. Let me ask you if you agree with John Boehner, who said that, that, that basically in American history, there's never been an example of taking away a federal entitlement, that once it's given to people, the politics of then taking it from them, especially something like health care that affects people's kids and their families and their lives. It's just, uh, I mean, basically, was the Republican takeover of both houses in the White House the best thing that ever happened to Obamacare? Made it more popular? Well, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if it made it more popular, but I can tell you that in eight years ago, when I was cam no, I wasn't campaigning. I was already in office, and I'm out in rural Oregon, and people are coming out and they're saying, "Why are you supporting this socialist takeover yeah. by a foreign-born president?" Very unpopular in 2000. And now I'm going to those same counties. Last weekend, I went to four conservative counties. I lost some of those counties by more than 50 percent in my reelection, and at every one of those counties, people were coming out saying. Please save our insurance. One out of three people in rural Oregon is on, is on Oregon health plans. Sure. And they're getting the peace of mind that if their loved one gets sick, they'll get the care they need. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.